Hey, I'm Griffin, and I just finished running the New York City Half Marathon. <sighs> it's a 13.11 mile race, but my GPS watch, the Garmin Forerunner 220, calculated it as a 13.41 mile race. This is a common problem you may have experienced with GPS watches. Right when I'm about to get to the first mile marker, if I have auto lap turned on, my GPS watch buzzes with that first mile five or 10 seconds before I get there. And by the time I'm halfway through the race, it's buzzing 30 seconds or a minute before I get to each mile marker. So why does this happen? It's actually a pretty simple problem. And the reason is that GPS watches aren't a continuous flow of data. It's actually just picking up your location every few seconds or maybe every one second. But the accuracy has a pretty large radius, around 16 feet where it might place you. I mean, that's like the whole distance of the road that I'm running down. So really the GPS watch doesn't even know what side of the road I'm on. So if some of these data points are on one side of the road, some are on the other side, I could be running the perfectly shortest distance to the finish line, taking all the corners nicely, running right down the middle of the course. Uh, but my GPS watch may think that I'm zigzagging around the whole race. And that's where it gets all this extra distance. Now, if you are running in a circle, you might actually find that the GPS watch underestimates your distance. Because if it's not collecting every single data point in that circle, it might miss the corners a little bit and actually shorten your recorded distance. So these things aren't perfect. Uh, and if you are running a race, you probably just wanna be hitting a lap manually every time you see a mile marker. And then you'll, you'll really know what your pace is. All right, I'm gonna go get one of those foil blankets now. Thanks for watching. Uh, I know this isn't a filmmaking tutorial, which is what I normally do, but uh, hopefully you learned something today.